Hi everyone. Yeah, it's been a while since I've posted. Not that I think anyone knows, but there we go. Today is the 6th of December 2022 and for junior doctors across the UK, it's the last day of our rotations. And for me, it's the last day of being 25 years old because tomorrow, which is the 7th of December, is my birthday. And this year is also the first day of a new job. I guess 25 has been a whirlwind. I've interviewed for first doctor jobs, didn't get them, that's fine. Um, I've taken more exams than I care to think about and passed them. I've been on my elective at Great Ormond Street and basically solidified that paediatrics is for me. I've caught on COVID, have won prizes for my medical graduation, which I didn't ever think I'd get. I also got to read out the Declaration of Geneva, which was a dream come true, really. And I moved to my first ever non shooter flat and I have completed my first ever doctor job. So yes, it's been a bit busy this year. <laughs> Thinking about my doctor job, well, let's call it my first rotation as a doctor. It's been a wild one. <laughs> I did my first rotation in gastroenterology, so it's a medicine rotation, and geez, is it trial by fire um, the first weeks. So with being an FY1, we get three days of shadowing before we come in and I had a fantastic F2 kind of take me under his wing and take us all under his wing and teach us everything. So that was really helpful. But then you have to hit the ground sprinting because you have 14 patients to look after as an F1. Troubles with gastro is, they're not just normal medical patients. These are patients who are, are basically surgical medical patients. They're quite poorly. So you have to hit the ground knowing what you're doing and of course as an F1 that isn't always the case. Um, my first ever sick patient on my second day of work was definitely something I wasn't expecting and I don't think I will forget the patient and that's okay because you're meant to learn from your experiences and I know I was having to do a lot of reflecting the other night for my portfolio and I know that if I took the Abbey the Dr. Tut, who I am today, and placed him back into August, I would handle it so much better. And it's because F1 is such a steep learning curve and everyone says it online. You can Google F1 videos on here and everyone will say it, but it's not the steep learning curve that I thought it would be at medical school. So it's not like I've had to learn all about presentations of Crohn's and UC and decompensated liver disease. No, the learning has been how to function as a doctor, to how to do the ward prep, how to do the ward round, how to organise your jobs, how to prioritise your jobs, how to get bloods out of patients that no one can get bloods out of because you're the doctor and you need to do it now, how to do tricky cannulas, how to order things, how to bind things and then there's also like hidden things, so how to hand over on the phone, how to find numbers to hand over to, which specialty do you need to hand a um, pressure ulcer too that needs to bride it there is it's more clerical and you don't realize how much you were actually having to learn and pick up until you get back home at the weekend and you're a zombie on the sofa or Saturday because that's it your mental load is done for the week and it was tough but I will have to say the MDT team so my nurse uh, particularly nurses the discharge coordinator were my rock and particularly I had a nurse who's an A&P, which is an advanced nurse practitioner, and I couldn't have asked for a better mentor. I couldn't have asked for someone to help me more in those couple of weeks. And I am really going to miss them um, just because they have helped shape who I am as a doctor. And I think one of the highest compliments you can give someone in healthcare is, I'd let any member of my family be looked after you, and that is 100% true of them. As a junior doctor, the nurses are your best friends because they know exactly what's going on, and if you work with them, they will work with you. There is no point ignoring them or shunning them away or telling them, no, I'm too busy. It's, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Is it urgent, or can this wait two seconds just while I finish off this referral? It's about being polite and knowing that actually they want to get a job done and you want to get a job done and at the end it's the patient who will benefit from both of those. Just fantastic people and I fully support their strike. So 
One of the things we have to get done at the end of each rotation is to fill out our portfolio. Yes, it doesn't stop after medical school. Um, and one big thing we have is something called a tab and it's where you send basically the whole MDT teams, consultants, allied health professionals, registrars, other F1s, advanced nurses, um, literally you can ask anyone to fill it in and then the, the point is to get as broad a range of the MDT as possible. And I only got to see my feedback today because it wasn't released till today because I had my um, educational supervisor sign off and her comments are lovely and I, I think I will print it off and put it on my wall because there are days of being an F1 where you think oh my god what have I done have I done the right thing what am I doing like <laughs> I, I could be doing something else with far less stress and then you get comments like Abby is a fantastic doctor I can always rely on Abby um, and that just means the world. It means the actual world. And especially when you have patients that learn your name, even though you're the F1 in the back of the ward ground scribbling in the notes, it's, it, it does make it all worthwhile. And the bad days don't seem as bad anymore. Even though there have been some rough days, I know I want to be a doctor and this was the correct move for me. I'm so excited about what's to come and I cannot wait to pick up my peds job again because that's it, I'm sold, I'm going into paediatrics. I've now started calling myself a paediatrician in waiting. <laughs> um, but one thing I do know is that I will not go into gastro. <laughs> as fantastic a job as it's been and as fantastic the medicine is and as intriguing as it is, I cannot do that for the rest of my life. <laughs> And that's fine, you're not meant to love everything. And I know I won't go into surgery either, so. <laughs> so overall, 25 has been great. And my first rotation has been a bumpy one, but made it out alive. And I still wanted to be a doctor. And I think that's the best outcome I can hope for for my first rotation. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this video off now. So I stop rambling. All I can say is like to any future F1s out there, is yes it is negative online and now as an f1 i can see where people are coming from but don't let it scare you because there are moments where you will realize yes this is for me and you'll realize that actually working as an f1 is so much more better than being a medical student um there are little moments that you'll have that you will hold on to for the rest of your life like um me and my amp pranked a medical student the other day because uh she walked in with a urine bottle and said this, look, this doesn't look right can you can you have a look at it and i i picked it up and i knew exactly where she was coming from i went yeah it, it doesn't look like it's definitely some sediment in there and i opened it up and sniffed it and i went that no that doesn't that that really doesn't it kind of smells like AKI and it took a swig and their face was incredible <laughs> and it's little moments like that that yeah have just made this block for me <laughs> so I am still alive I am going and for anyone who does read the blog I will finish it off it is on my to-do list it's just it's just not been a rotation where I could get stuff done that I didn't need to get done um, but now I move on to renal transplant and it'll be my first day, it will be my birthday, so I'm taking in lots of cake. I'm on a long day, uh, it's 13 hours. And I guess we'll see where we are in April. So I hope you all have fantastic Christmases and a brilliant new year. And I will be working with Dr. Gill at some point because um, I now I'll have some actual time and energy to do it. And I'm really keen to like do some stuff with him. So I, I don't know if I have any Dr. Gill fans following this, but there you go. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching and I, yeah, I'll be signing out.